welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Rachel and I make travel videos here on YouTube. Um, just a couple things before we get into it. First of all, I did get a new soft box for Christmas and I'm super excited for this new lighting in my videos. I used to just use window lighting, but of course that's not always the greatest or most reliable source of light. Um, so yeah, this is without the light box on. It is a very cloudy day today. I used to only be able to record on sunny days, um, but this is with it on and obviously it's way better, more even consistent light. So I'm really into that. Um, number two, one of my roosters is inside. Long story, but if you hear any random crowing in the background during this video, that's what that is. Um, hopefully it's not too distracting. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> so anyway, today's video is going to be all about why I am super excited for the upcoming year. 2022 is going to be really amazing, hopefully for me. I'm going to be doing a lot of travel and new experiences, and it is definitely not going to be 2022 if you get my drift, okay? Get your vaccine. So anyway, before I fully get into those reasons, I just wanted to do a little recap about what this channel is all about, who I am, just so that any new subscribers can kind of get on board or if maybe you missed some memos in the past, you can kind of figure out what's going on. So back in April, I started this channel. I had already been posting some videos on YouTube occasionally for a couple years, but it really wasn't like an actual channel, you know? So I started posting consistently back in April and I had plans to quit my job. I had worked at the same retail place for six years and I quit in September. And then in October, I took my very first solo trip. I um, quit my job because, I mean, among many things, I wanted to focus more on travel and kind of what I wanted my life to be, which I mean, it's kind of scary just quitting your job when you only have so much money saved up. I do like have some income that I do on the computer. I work on the computer. Um, I've talked about like my side hustles. I will link to that video, but mostly I want to be able to make money through travel eventually. Right now, the only thing I do is some travel photography. I do stock photography, which doesn't earn me a lot of money. Um, but I do want to try to get this channel monetized. So if you are thinking of subscribing, please do. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, but yeah, so I just want to focus on travel, making content here on YouTube and doing travel photography. So that's kind of who I am. Um, I'm definitely an introvert. I have social anxiety. So putting myself out there is kind of difficult. I am getting better, I think, at talking to the camera. If you watch some of my earlier videos, you can probably tell, but that is just how it is. <laughs> I am becoming more confident, especially after my solo trip. I feel really like empowered about that and all my future travel. Although a lot of the travel, as I will discuss in this video, I am planning on doing with one of my parents. Um, but anywho, let's just move on to the main purpose of this video, which is why I'm excited for next year. So I'm just kind of going to discuss some of the trips I have planned. I did a while ago have a video about um, all my future travel plans. Um, but I said in that video that it wasn't all like set in stone. And of course, a lot of that has changed now. Um, but I mean, I'm pretty much open to traveling anywhere. <laughs> so we'll start off with January, the end of January, I am going down to Orlando, Florida with my mom and I'm super excited because I'm a huge Harry Potter and Disney nerd. And obviously, if you know anything about Orlando, you know that Disney World is down there. Um, Universal Studios with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. 
is there and yeah I've been wanting to go there since you know before it opened so I'm super excited about that. I've been to a couple other Disney parks. I've been to um, Disneyland in California and I've been to Disneyland Paris but this will be my first time at Disney World which I'm really excited for because it's a bigger park. It's actually four different parks. We're gonna try to go to all four um, but we're doing like park hopping so two days and then doing two parks per day which is gonna be kind of crazy and busy but I'm excited and then obviously we're gonna be going to Orlando or sorry we're gonna be going to Universal Studios um as well and I'm pretty much gonna focus just on the Harry Potter aspect of it um but yeah they have a bunch of other rides and things related to Universal uh Studios movies but Harry Potter is the one thing I care about the most. I'm going to try not to spend a ton of money on souvenirs and candy and stuff, but we'll see. <laughs> so that's January. And then February, March, don't have anything planned as of right now. I will probably be doing some day trips around the area, um, Kansas City area. Who knows what else? I don't know. But in April, uh, about mid-April we are going to my dad and I are going to the UK we're going to spend about a week or so in London and then we're going to take the train up to Scotland and rent a car and do like a road trip through Scotland this was actually a trip we were supposed to do back in 2020 and of course it was all canceled so I'm really excited to finally be able to do that Scotland is beautiful and I'm so excited to do photography up there and then also I mean London obviously there's a ton of museums and Harry Potter related things that I want to do there too so yeah there's gonna be a lot of Harry Potter references during that trip <laughs> um and then after that trip um, the next one that I have booked is going to be Iceland in June slash July um that was another trip that I had kind of planned to do um, back in 2020, but we ended up not doing it, not because of COVID, but it just we ended up changing some travel plans, but I've been wanting to go to Iceland for a while now and it is so gorgeous and I'm so excited, especially to fly the drone there. So yeah, my dad and I are going and we're going to rent a camper van and just drive around mostly the South Coast and just, you know go waterfall chasing and take as many pictures as possible <laughs> I'm so excited so yeah um that is all I have like booked for sure happening in 2022 um I will probably be booking other trips especially in December I want to go to Germany for Christmas markets but obviously that's really far in advance and I'm not gonna book anything for that yet but um, if you have any suggestions of places I should go, leave them in the comments. I'm pretty much open to anywhere. I'm not really more of a tropical beach kind of girl, but I like exploring cities, nature areas, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, right now there's a lot of tickets to especially Europe that aren't too bad price-wise. Um, so, yeah. I do have a flight credit that I need to use still. Um, yeah, I guess I didn't really mention that either, but I was able to get my Iceland tickets using a flight credit from 2022. Um, I used the canceled ticket from when we were supposed to go to England and I used that money to book the Iceland trip. So I did end up paying a little bit because the credit didn't cover everything, but I did use that and then I still have one flight credit left. And then in London, I had a flight credit for a hotel, or I had a, not a flight credit, but I had a credit for a hotel. So I was able to use that for the hotel. In case you're wondering how I'm like saving money. <laughs> um, anyway, I feel like this video is getting kind of rambly. So I wanna go ahead and sign off and yeah, just thank you for checking in. I know my vlog is a small channel and I don't have a ton of subscribers but if you want to subscribe it would be greatly appreciated go ahead and like this video 
and I will see you next Sunday. Okay, thank you for watching. Have an awesome day, and I hope you had an awesome holiday as well if you celebrated. Okay, cool. See you next time.